Hey y'all, my name is Megan, Key Account Manager at Cami. I'm a former middle school teacher, which is where my Cami journey began many years ago. I have a passion for finding ways to make our classrooms more innovative and our lives as educators easier. And what better way to do that than with Cami and Google Classroom? At this point, you've been learning about Cami and all the amazing things it can do, but you may feel like there's still a missing piece to the puzzle. Like, how do I get it to my students and then how do they get it back to me? Big piece, right? Well, that's what I'm here to help with today, so let's solve that puzzle. A little heads up, just to make following along a bit easier, make sure you have the Cami Chrome extension installed and Google Classroom open in another tab or window. Because it's important for me to kind of jazz up my materials a little before I assign them, I like to start in Cami first, but this is certainly not a mandatory step. As you can see, I already have some text boxes added in, a voice comment with directions for my students, but I have one final touch that I want to add before it's ready to go to Google Classroom. I have a video that I use every year with my students when we're learning about integers, so I've saved it to my handy dandy annotation bank so that I don't have to search for it every year on YouTube or in my Google Drive. So since it's already here, I'm just going to drag that out to the page, drop it where I want it to go, and now my assignment is nice and ready to go on to Google Classroom. Now that we're in Google Classroom, we're ready to add the Cami magic. And if you didn't need to add anything to your materials first, you could just start right from here. Let's go and grab the Create button and then choose Cami Assignment. Once this screen loads, it'll look really familiar to a regular Google Classroom assignment, except you have a couple other options down here at the bottom, but we'll come back to those momentarily. First, we're gonna give our Cami Assignment a name. And because I already put a voice comment in on my activity, I'm not going to add any instructions, but you're welcome to fill this out as well. At this point, I'm ready to grab that file from my Google Drive or my computer wherever it's stored. There's my Cami Integers assignment, choose select, and now it's attached to this assignment. From here, make sure that you choose what type of activity you want this to be. The default is every student gets a copy, but you can also choose to share one copy or students cannot edit the file. For today's purposes, everybody's getting a copy. Lastly, let's take a look at these three options down here that are unique to the Cami assignment. First and foremost is the control features. It does exactly what the name says and allows you to select certain tools that you may or may not want to allow your students to use. So if for some reason you didn't want them using a dictionary tool, you could certainly uncheck that along with any other tools in here. But for the purposes of my assignment, I want my students to have access to everything. So I'm going to leave them all on and we are good to go with the control features. Next up, send Cami instructions to students. If my students were maybe new to Cami, this would be a great option to send them some instructions to get started, but they've been working with Cami for a while now, so I'm going to leave that one unchecked. And finally, the add links for mobile devices. This is a really helpful feature if you have students using iPads or touchscreen mobile devices so that Cami opens up nice and smooth whenever they click on the assignment from Google Classroom. So all that's done, and now we're ready to push the Cami assignment out to our students by hitting the nice big blue assign button up in the top right corner. And voila, your assignment is ready. You can choose to either open that assignment right up or exit out to remain on the classwork tab. And one last little tidbit, because this is working through an LMS integration, you have the ability to get a bird's eye view of the student's work even before they turn it in. You can start by going into the actual activity, view assignment, and click on an individual student that you wanna look at, and even grade with Cami by checking the grade with Cami checkbox. You also have the option to grade multiple students at one time using the Cami grader feature. Click the open Cami grader button, select the assignment you wish to open with the Cami grader, and then you'll easily be able to scroll through multiple students at one time to provide feedback, give them a grade, or whatever input you may need to provide them. And lastly, you have the option to open the assignment using the Google Drive folder that Classroom automatically creates anytime you create a Google Classroom or Cami assignment. You can see here I have my integers brainstorming folder. I can click in and easily find all of my students' work. 
Nice work. I knew you could do this. In just a few steps, you will have Kami assignments at the fingertips of your students. Hungry for more? Make sure to check out our feedback and assessment video where we'll dive into giving feedback during and after the assignment.